Hi there, I'm Obadiah Thomas from The Character Show. We teach the six pillars of character, those character traits you've been talking about at school. And uh, we're here in between shows and I wanted to talk to you teachers about how to get the character traits into your classroom without taking up any extra time. Because I know, if I know teachers and I know one thing, your plates are full. Everybody's asking to do something. The district, the state, the federal, the, the, the. You don't have any more time. So how are you going to get this stuff in? But you have to get it in because if you get these six character traits into the kids and they really understand them and they start implementing them, your class is going to run smoother than ever before and you will get more done than ever before. And if you stick around to the end of the tape, I'm going to give you ways that you can use this to actually save time. So uh, no additional time for you, except for this video, of course, but let's get to it. So first of all, uh, the first thing everybody does is they use the posters. The posters are great from the Josephson Institute character counts. Get those and put them up. But what they do is they put up all six posters. And I know you teachers have very limited wall space. You use every inch of that space and you just put up six posters. That's a quarter of a wall. Try one at a time every week or every month, change them out, and if you do that, the kids will actually pay attention to it. But if you put up all six at once, after two weeks, they will not even see them anymore. They will just blend into the background and they will be wasted space. So use your space wisely, one poster each month or each week if you want to get crazy about it. Next of all, you're going to use these words in spelling test. You're already doing spelling tests, right? Put these six words, trustworthiness and caring and citizenship, put those words into your spelling and all the variations of the word, truth and truthful, uh, honor, uh, and all these great things, caring, understanding. These are great words. You can put them in your test. You can put them in your spelling. And when it's time to for write a sentence, have the kids write a sentence about citizenship. Write a story, write a story about citizenship. Now, you could have them write a story about their favorite pet. Or you could have them write a story about being a good citizen. Which is the more powerful story? Which is the story you want your kids to be writing about? Hmm. Uh, next thing, I want you to use this in your discipline. As you're talking to the kid, you already have to discipline them, right? But if you say, don't hit Johnny, well, now he's not going to hit Johnny. Not because he doesn't want to. He still wants to hit Johnny because we all know about Johnny. I know if I'm talking about. But he, he's, he's going to not do it because the teacher's going to catch him. But if you say, listen, don't hit Johnny. That's disrespectful. You want to be a person of good character. You want to respect your classmates. Even if you don't agree with them, respect them. And now he's saying, I'm not hitting Johnny because I'm a good person. And it empowers these children to become people of good character. So use them all. Yeah, responsibility. You were supposed to bring your paper to school. You were supposed to bring your backpack to school. That was wrong. No, it is your responsibility to bring your backpack. It is your responsibility to bring your homework. By using these words, it empowers the kids and they start choosing to be good and choosing to do the right thing because they choose to be a good person person of character. Now here's where you're going to save time. Responsibility. Oh, this is a great word. Responsibility. Because you can give children responsibilities. Things that you might be doing around the classroom. There might, might be some five minute task. Something that takes five minutes of your day. Maybe it's grading papers. And you pull one student up and you say, I give you the responsibility of grading these papers their eyes will light up. They will feel, feel so empowered that they get to grade the papers. And you know what, come on, they could probably grade a math paper. Look at the test, the dip, 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 dip. If it saves you five minutes, even if it takes them 15 minutes, it still saves you five minutes. And imagine 12 of these in a day, 12 five minute times that you have a kid do, an assi do something that you're normally doing, but they're saving you five minutes. 12 times five, that's an hour. Can you imagine saving an hour a day? Excellent. So anyway, I want you to take these ideas and try to implement them in the classroom. Uh, check out the character show. Check out our Facebook page. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for being a teacher. We appreciate it.